The Sarah Harrison Show in the trap with Trippy Red. I'm hearing this is the first exclusive interview that's going out in London. What's good? What's up? Man, you're from Ohio by way of Atlanta. You said off off air that you're still living in Atlanta. You was living in LA, right? Yeah. For a while. What at what age did you move to Atlanta? Um I was like Yeah, I was like sixteen. So who was who was popping at the time in Atlanta? Because you know, there's always there's always someone who's really got the city on lock there. Um who was? Oh yeah, Future, Future was Future Thug and uh, Twenty One. How it still is, really. <laughs> yeah, for real, it is how it still is. But just bigger. So would you okay. cite Atlanta as like that was quite a big influence on you at the time? Um, I mean, yeah, I listen to the, those guys' music. I mean, you're quite genreless, to be honest. You don't really fit into any bracket. But if I was to give it a name, I'd call it a bedroom trap. <laughs> you said you call it bedroom trap. Bedroom trap. Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess for my, like, R&B-ish type yeah, shit. Yeah, because it's like, I mean, I'll definitely get busy to your music. That's a genre for <laughs> a part of the music I make. So technically, yeah. it's not really a full genre. Do you get down to your own music? Whoa. Nope. <laughs> I'm cool. I don't even listen to music like that. I ain't even oh, going to no. count. I have, though. That's something I do need to start doing. You more. should try, exactly. Listening to me. <laughs> you talking about word. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell him, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, growing up, I've heard you've had influences from like Lil Wayne, T Pain. I can definitely hear that. And Kiss as well. Kiss is part of that list. How did how was that introduced in, um, into the household for you? Um, I just looked it up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I mean, it dates back, it's way beyond your years. Yeah, but, I mean, the internet just gives you so much power to do whatever you want, so. Well, it's true, and, that you you know. The internet... I listen to them because I like how they look, for real, for real. <laughs> I like their image, so I clicked on it. Okay. What was it so striking about the imagery? The fact that they be like. So that, that rock star, punk. Yeah. I rebellious kind of vibe. Yeah. I mean, there's I think there's definitely parallels between rock and hip-hop in the rebellion kind of energy that it brings is that very much how you see your music it's very it's it's rebellious in some sort of way mm. i mean my music is whatever you per- perceive it to be it's okay. real versatile i mean i love your recent project is great i mean i can listen it, to it from start to finish without skipping anything any track <laughs> that's always that's always the the plan i guess when you're making something but um what how did you land on the on the idea of the cover art because you've got, like, throwback pictures, baby pictures. What was the idea behind that? Um, Just to show people, like, where I came from, like, on some baby stage shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just put something together for my fans, really. That was just how I was feeling at the time. That was, okay. like, the vibe I was going for. The only picture that's not old on there is, like, I think it's, like, two of them. I think one of them is uh, me with a goat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. (laughs) And then I think one is me with Rocket. I'm not sure. Is it Matt? No, no. He's not even on there. No, I don't think Rocky's on there. The only person that's... I don't don't got it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm pulling it up right now. But yeah, no, it's just baby pictures. Me with my mom, me with my sister. Just like me and my... uh, Or uh, there's a picture of my uh, brother that passed away on there, too. What did your family say when you showed them that cover art? They liked it. They got, they gave you the approval. Yep. That's dope. That's really dope. Um, you've had oh yeah your your drop. I love Trippy Red. Who's the voice behind that? Um, it's some some girl's nephew. Okay. Some girl's nephew is is the one that does that. I got a new one though that says fourteen hundred gang and it's actually one of my Xbox homies' uh, little sister. <laughs> so it's it's for the new project. Oh, have we heard yeah. it yet? No, nah, you haven't heard it yet. I mean, I'm going to use it more. Probably not on my album. I might use it once on my album. But. Okay, dope. Um, you've had loads of collaborations, as in you being featured on other people's tracks, and you really add something very special to everyone's track. What's been your favorite feature? Uh, mm-hmm. What is my favorite feature? Of my own or No, others. someone that you featured on. Um, My favorite song that, like... Okay, so 
I mean, it's really my song, but not. I like Fuck Love. That's what I like. Okay. But I only listen to it for my part. Right. Right. Uh, I really like, you were on Maxo Cream's recent song, right? Capi? Is it Capiche? Yeah. I love that shit. That shit goes yeah, hard. I fought with that song too. Yeah. I like that song yeah, too. Yeah, I've played that a couple of times. I like the one with me and Drum too as well. Yo, Nana. So, yeah, all, all of them are just, I feel yeah. like they, they've really got a position. I feel like every every feature verse I do just goes crazy. Like even the uh, the one with fucking, the one that's called 18 with Joji and okay. Chris Wu. Yeah, Chris Wu. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, Rich Brian. He changed his name. Rich oh, yeah. Chigger. It was Rich Chigger before, yeah. And you've got one with Swaley as well, produced by Scott Storch. Yeah. How did that one come about? Because Scott Storch is like in and out of the scene, but now he's... He came back in. Yeah, he he's like, really... Chibaret! <laughs> yeah, well, how did that call come about? Um, He made a tweet or something saying that he liked my music or something, and we got in, t- we got in contact oh, with that's each other. Hot. And then now he's one of my producers. <laughs> what? Yeah. So we can expect a lot more Scott Storch in the next yes, project? way more. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Because the current, the producer that you use a lot, is his name Goose? No, great. Goose the Guru? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't really, yeah, we got some more stuff coming. Okay. But I'm excited that you told me that Scott Storch is, is going to have more appearances. Yeah, Scott Storch, Diplo, Honorable C-Note. Nice. Goose. I'm going to just... Those are like some of the main people. Are, are you trying like to go the, for the Zaytovens, the Metros, the Southsides? Um, because I mean, Atlanta's just booming. I no mean, pun intended. if they want to send me something or they want to work, we can. I like Metro. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess they I haven't like really just hit Spins me up that really. Yeah, why I not? I look at it like they just. I think you're very open. <laughs> like your ears are very open to whatever sound you know. Yeah. Because like, I wouldn't have thought of Scott Storch for you. I don't I know why. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, there's word that you've got a feature with Drake coming soon, or something with Drake coming soon. Yep. We got the nod. Any yeah. any idea of what? We got when a when it's gonna songs. come? Oh, you got a couple of songs. Yeah, we got a couple. Nice. Do you like working with artists in the studio? Because I know you know a lot of people have different time schedules and stuff, so it's really hard to get in the same room. But um, I can see you being like quite a get in the zone creative kind of person i'm more so just i think i think like good advice is people when they come into the game to just stay on your on your own like just be alone (laughs) just vibe by yourself you don't need to like vibe with other artists really like that unless they're idols of yours you know what i'm saying okay it's not really cool to i don't know i just don't think a lot of the people around now are like real you know what i'm saying and it's never real because it's always a competition but the 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 like there's like an illusion where everybody tries to make it seem like there's no competition like everything is just good and okay but it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff like people are just weird like i feel like uzi uzi is a real good artist because he doesn't really he doesn't really have like friends that are in the industry you know what i'm saying he brags about it all the time so i fuck with that no, I but, Cause it's real. Agree. It's real. You really don't. Yeah. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Mask off. <laughs> you did. Who do you envisage yourself having a big hit with? Top Billboard. I can see it just being um, trippy red, but if it had to be someone like one of your idols, top idols. Kanye. That'd be lit. Kanye and Wayne on the same track, or Kanye and Drake on the same track. That'd be fire. <laughs> That'd be too big. <laughs> That'd be too fire. That would be amazing. Um, do you think about doing any movie soundtracks? Because I think your music would be... Yeah. I think you'll get super For clear. sure. What kind, of, what kind of movie would it be? Any type of movie. Action movie. Horror movie. Thriller. <laughs> drama. It could be on any type of movie. It's just whatever whatever song you pick. What about if they, if you got asked to recreate an old movie? Like or an, a cartoon or a like an old comic ho- horror but, movie or something, yeah. or like an old action movie or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, I would. I would definitely have my own music on something like that if I recreated. Could you think of something that maybe you grew up watching and you're like, oh, that would be amazing if I if I'm a part of the remake of that? 
Yeah, I'm really tapping in with like that though. I'm really wanting to like see myself like in like movies or like shows and stuff. Yeah, because you get you already do it with your music videos. Yeah, you know, the cartoon, comic stuff. Yeah, that's dope. And what about any fashion brands? Because I know you you like to experiment with your look. You know, there's no boundaries with what you wear. Has anyone reached out to you, or would you like to collaborate with someone? Um, really, I just I don't know. It's like whatever goes whatever goes down goes down. I don't really like have like wishes with it. It's more so of me just I just pick anything I just like what I like basically yeah <laughs> like I go shopping and I get just whatever I like and put pieces together type shit do they I have to really... be branded logo designer not necessarily it's just to my liking like if my eyes like what I see yeah I love it it's mine well while you're here in London you definitely need to get around oh, because went... <laughs> you'll definitely <laughs> find some inspiration somewhere. For yeah, sure. for sure. There's stuff that's not in the States here. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And other parts of Europe as well, if you get a chance to go to Paris. Are you going to go anywhere else while you're here? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. Okay. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> well, I really, I really appreciate you joining me, Trippy Red. Yeah, I appreciate it too. Thank I like you. the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot.